Hi folks, Pete Lane. Welcome to Blind Abilities Stateside. You may recall that Jeff Thompson is vacationing in the United Kingdom with his wife Lori. But the other day, Jeff had an opportunity to catch up with John Greedy. John is a guide dog trainer with 21 years of experience with guide dogs for the blind in the UK. And John shares his story with Jeff Thompson. I currently train dogs from when they come off a puppy walking scheme at about 12 to 14 months old. Guide Dogs UK is a very well-known charity within the UK. We're the only guide dog school within the UK. We use Timmouth Hotel as a base to train the clients for the first sort of 10 days of their training after they've been matched. Timmouth does offer some very nice, quite intensive work sometimes. You've got a lot of people, there's a lot of pet dogs and things like that in the area. So here's a really good place to base training to begin the client's training with a dog. Cece. She's doing very well for training. She is due to hopefully be matched in the next couple of weeks. So without further ado, let's join Jeff and our guest, John Greedy. My name is John Greedy. That's G-R-E-E-D-Y. I'm a guide dog trainer for Guide Dogs for the Blind in the UK. I work for Guide Dogs now for 21 years. And I currently train dogs from when they come off a puppy walking scheme at about 12 to 14 months old. And then I train them for between 16 and 20 weeks so that they are ready then to train with their matched clients. I work with an instructor, guide dog mobility instructor, who oversees the training of the dogs and the clients. But I primarily do the dog training aspect of things. So we're here in Timmouth, we're at the Clifton Hotel, so yes. you operate out of here a little bit? My office where I operate from is based in Exeter, mm -hmm. which is a, a city that's quite close to us, it's about 20 minutes away. We use Timmouth Hotel as a base to train the clients for the first sort of 10 days of their training after they've been matched, ah. because it's a nice little base for them to train. It brings the clients together as a group to do their training for the first couple of weeks. And just for example, two of my dogs that I've trained have just left the hotel today to go home to commence their training and they've been here for the last oh, wow. 10 days doing their training. One was called Radar and the other one was called Sal. Oh, one, Radar, uh, yeah. Yeah, Radar's a yellow lab cross gold retriever, Sal's a golden retriever. And they've, yeah, just headed home today to carry on their training from home. But Jason, a man who's my colleague, He's the guide mobility instructor who's working with those clients, with those dogs, but it was me that trained those dogs. So I've been here helping and overseeing sort of aspects as well with them, sort of free running and things like that and obedience. And then Jason's been overseeing sort of the harness walking and things like that with them together. But it's been great to see, really. Yeah. I noticed some people come here and they do these walks, like 10 mile walks, 7.5 mile walks. Is that something that Clifton does or um, is that something you guys do? I'm not sure, to be honest, oh, okay. about that one. So there's a lot happening there's, here. The, the group that I was here with, there was a total of four and they were training with their guide dogs. Some oh, of them okay. were their first guide dogs, some of them were their second or third guide dogs. So they do their 10 um, days. Yes, but yeah. that's the group of four. I don't know if there was another group that were here doing lengthy walks and things like that. I don't know. So you match the dog with the with client? The client. Yep. yep. Jason does that and I kind of help inputting quite a lot about the dog. He knows a lot about the clients, so together we work together to try and get the right dog for the right client. Like if they walk fast, if they walk slow, or yep. if they get out yep. a lot, if they're yeah, active? If, if they're a total, someone who's totally blind, They'll need a dog that's a bit more capable than someone with a bit of residual vision. Obviously, they'll need a still capable dog, but they're able to perhaps see a little bit, able to control maybe higher levels of dog distraction and things like that, just to enable them to still maintain a good, safe progression along the pavements and things. And Timoth offers some good obstacles and some it terrain does. to travel. Yes, Timoth does offer some very nice quite intensive work sometimes particularly in the summer because it's obviously a seaside town tourists will come quite often in the summer holidays and things like that so you've got a lot of people there's a lot of pet dogs and things like that in the area so here's a really good place to base training to begin the clients training with the dogs that's really important because i know Lori has a guide dog when they come across other dogs that interaction can be interesting yes Yes, it can. It can be quite difficult, particularly places like this. You'll come across a number of people that have their dogs off the lead, around the town even, things like that, which does make things a bit more difficult because there's generally not a lot of control from their side to their dogs, which then their dogs perhaps come over and say hello to our dogs and interfere with their concentration on the task that they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. But it's a good exposure for our dogs to actually learn to deal with those situations. So how old is this dog? She is now about 19 months old. 
19 uh, months. About, 19, about that, I think she is. Her name? Uh, Cece. Cece. Yes. Yeah, and she's doing very well for training. She is due to hopefully be matched in the next couple of weeks to then start her client training at the beginning of October. So she'll be here, hopefully, with a client working. But that's why I've got her here at the moment. I'm getting her ready ah. and prepared for when she is working here with a client. Normally, I would take her to places in Exeter to train her. Mm -hmm. But because we're so close to her beginning her training with a, a client, she needs to come here to start learning the routes here and get used to the whole environment here. So it makes life easy for them, the clients, when they do start at the beginning of October. So if someone was interested in getting a guide dog, how would they contact you? We've got various channels of contact, obviously online, telephone and things like that. Guide Dogs UK is a very well-known charity within the UK. We're the only guide dog school within the UK and people are very supportive of us and there's easy channels to contact us and things like that. Even just when a lot of us are on the street and things like that, people will stop and ask us about how to apply for a guide dog, what we can do for them and how we can help them. But we've got a website which people will go and look at and get more information from. We've been talking to John Greedy. He's from, is it Guide Dogs for the yeah, Blind or Guide, guide dogs. dogs? We're now known as generally Guide Dogs. Ah. Um, but yeah, Guide Dogs UK uh, is will help. Well, thanks a lot, John. Thank you very much. And uh, Cece yeah. did very well. She's a, she's a lovely little dog, this one. Awesome. We'd like to thank John Greedy for sharing his experience as a guide dog trainer. For more information about Guide Dogs UK, check out their website at www.guidedogs.org.uk. On behalf of Jeff Thompson, I'm Pete Lane. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day. For more podcasts with the blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. And be sure to check out our free app in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Play Store.